Hi everybody, this is Lorenzo from RescapeGet.com and today I want to show you how to make a MoGraph animation using the Shader Factor in Cinema 4D. Let's get started! Here we are in Cinema 4D and first of all let's create a new plane. Right now we can set width for example like 100 and I like 100 again. Now let's go to the display and we can change in ground shading. In this case I will choose width segments like 45 and height segments like 45 again. Alright, let's go ahead and let's create a cube. Now we can resize the cube in all three directions. We'll set up the sides like 2 by 2 by 2. Right now, check on, on fillets and I will choose fillet radius like 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 and fillet subdivision like 5. Right now, select cube and let's go to the more graph menu and let's create a new cloner and select the cube and make us a child of the cloner object. Right now, the cloner I will choose mode like object right now we can select the plane and we can drag and drop into the object tab right now double click and let's create a new material uncheck reflection select color let's go to the texture and select noise okay click on the noise and now I will show you how to the shader factor works using the noise tool in this case I will choose global scale like 170 percent and now we can we can increase the animation speed like 0 0.4 and then increase the contrast like 70 percent so now select the material and drag and drop on the plane then select cloner and let's go to the MoGraph menu a factor and we can select the shader a factor all right right now select the shader then let's go to the parameter tab and here we can enable some transformation in this case I will check on position and I will change scale like 0 0.5 and the pz like 8 all right now let's go ahead and let's go to the shading tab and uh, we can change the channel in color Alright, now we need to select the texture and we can drag and drop into the texture tag tab. So as you can see the shader factor will affect the scene. Now I will show you the shader factor in action and click on the material. As you can see that boxes grow or shrink depending on the color. So in the shadow areas makes them shrink and in the white areas makes them bigger. Right now I will try some noise and I prefer well noise. Okay now select the shader and let's go ahead now. Let's go to the parameter tab, then select color and uh, select color mode like user define. Right now I select the first color like blue.
and now we need to increase the timeline frames for example 400 frames right and add the new frame then we we'll select 150 frames and we'll change color like light gray for example or yellow and add new frame again then I will select 270 frame and we'll choose color like wet yellow and add ink frame again and finally 400 frames I will select color like red right now as you can see we did the MoGraph animation all right now If you like, we can add a new plane in the scene for for the light and the illumination of the scene. Uh, we can scale a little bit. Right now, double click and let's create a new material. Uncheck reflection and check color and check on luminance. Let's go to texture gradient, and in this case, we'll choose type, for example, like 2D circular. right then if you like we'll drag a little bit all right now now we would you like we can add a new area light right you can drag a little bit drag on the top of the scene in this case you'll increase the intensity like 114 percent I will choose shadow like shadow map soft right now we can we can set up the camera we can zoom in on the scene now let's go to the render settings let's go to optute and we can we can change frame range for example all frames Now we can select the same destination. We can change format like move. Then let's go to effect and add ambient occlusion. We can select maximum same like 150 and accuracy like 100%. Then let's go to effect again and we can add the global illumination. Right now we can we need to like same like low and record density like low again. Alright, now would you like we can would you like we can scale a little bit the cubes for example 0 Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more tutorials like this.